This is a once in a decade a set of guidelines rolled out by Chinese authorities that has been launched twice before in 2014 and 2004. It's a set of sweeping measures, including everything from improving the quality of stock listings, high, high, higher threshold for uh, the listing, to improving dividends for shareholders, etc. So I think while some of the measures aren't completely new, for example, we had this whole uh, state-owned enterprise reform talks last year and also a uh, higher threshold for stock delisting has been in the works for many, many years, although there's a lack of actual progress. But I think this time there's more enthusiasm in this uh, new set of guidelines rolled out by authorities because it comes at a time when the Chinese economy and the Chinese market are facing a lot of challenges, both internally and externally. We have the property crisis. We also have like a higher U.S.-China tensions. But at the same time, we see sentiment in the market slowly improving and the stock market rebounding a little bit. So this is really adding more confidence for people who are betting on a stock rebound in China. And a lot of people are saying this could be a mid to long term catalyst for a sustainable rally in Chinese stocks. There are investors comparing this campaign to what we've seen with Japan, with Korea. Obviously, both of those are longer term uh, campaigns where Japan is kind of just starting to come to fruition. Is this a fair comparison? I would say it's definitely drawing some investor attention. It seems to be a common theme across uh, the free markets, the corporate governance uh, reform theme. Of course, like Japan and Korea have uh, moved faster than China. We have um, the PB uh, campaign in Tokyo launched uh, last year by the Tokyo Stock Exchange and then more recently followed by the value of program in Korea, although that progress is sort of has seen some uncertainty given the recent parliamentary election results. But more recently, China is also following up on that, although it's not solely relying on just improving corporate governance, but also improving the quality of the capital market. So I think there's uh, some similarities, but also some differences. But I think the sense is that uh, there's certainly a lot of room for China to catch up with Japan and Korea on that front uh, in terms of uh, improving shareholder return and also uh, boosting dividend, etc. cetera. And, uh, if it's so, then following the uh, pathways of uh, Japan and Korea, there's certainly more long term upside in the Chinese stock market as we've seen in the Japan and Korea stock market recently.